Eagles have the NFL's worst home record in the past 10 years at 33 and 50. They have not made the playoffs since the Steelers' Jerome Bettis was a freshman at Notre Dame. Today, the bus takes the Bengals' defense back to school. For a complete rundown of today's game, let's turn to the voice of the Bengals, Brad Johansson. Brad. Harvey, it's gotten to such a point this season that Coach LeBeau said, if the Bengals upset the Steelers, I will dive into the Ohio River. Much like all season, his team just looked all wet. Sports out at Paul Brown Stadium today. The crowd of 63,900, the fourth largest in Paul Brown Stadium history. And mostly Steeler fans. Bengals' first offensive series shows promise. Kitna across the middle to Matt Schobel for a 13-yard gain down to the 35-yard line. Drive, stalls. Rackers, 46-yard field goal. Try it straight enough. It's just not long enough. Steelers' offense working just fine. Thank you. Play action. Looking for Plexico Burris, and he is wide open. A 36-yard pickup to the Bengals, 42. Jerome Bettis carried the ball the next five times. Fifth time into the end zone for a one-yard TD. Seven-zip Steelers. Bengals go three and out after getting great field position. And the Steelers really don't care where they are on the field. Maddox to Plexico again. This time for 32 yards to the Bengals, 40. He was looking for Plexico again, but Burris fell down. Kevin Case Maharn takes the gift. Takes it to the 40, his first pick on the year, but the Bengals offense stalls again. Kitna looking for Danny Farmer across the middle and gets it there late. Lee Flowers sits on him, picks it. Kitna's fifth on the year to go with one touchdown. Anything the Steelers ran worked. This time, watch the end around to Hines Ward. He scampers for 20 yards to set up a 34-yard field goal. But when he comes back, watch this block by Bettis on Vaughn Booker. Hello. Peterson's try. He will convert. It's 10-0. Bengals finally try to convert a third down and 12. Chad Johnson comes up big with the 18-yard reception across the middle. Don't get too excited. Next play, Peter Warwick wide open. Kitna throws off his back foot, lofts a balloon. Guess who? Lee Flowers sitting on this one, too. Second pick of the game. He takes it to the 46 in time for the bus. Jerome off the left side. Finds a hole and exploits it. Down the left side, breaks a manual tackle and rolls 41 yards for his longest run of the year. 17 zip Steelers. Kitna tries to go to work again, but Joy Porter's working on getting to Kitna, forces the fumble. Casey Hampton pulls it out of midair. Rumbles 36 yards to set up first and goal at the seven. Maddox on third and goal from the four to Dan Kreider. No one near him. Touchdown, 24 zip at half. What else could go wrong in the second half? Okay, here's the kickoff to Randall L. And here's what else could go wrong. Takes it at the one. Goes left, goes through the first wave, gets through the second wave, and now you can just wave goodbye to Antoine Randall L. 99 yards on the opening kick, touchdown, it is 31 to nothing. Bengals try to erase the goose egg. Fourth and goal from the four, Kitna to fade to Farmer, incomplete. Bengals turn it back over. But catch a break, because Maddox on second and seven intended for Ward. It is picked off by Burris on the tip. Bengals have a first and goal again. And on second down from the two, Corey Dillon bulls his way in. And the Bengals are on the board, 31 to 7. And the next two kicks should show you why the Bengals' personality is the Bengals' personality. Onside kick executed perfectly. Bengals have it. Uh, except Mark Roman left too early. Offsides. Kick again. Rackers fools him again. And then he kicks it again. You cannot kick it again. Steelers recover. You don't really need to see anymore. The Steelers add a field goal. The Bengals complete the perfectly inept first half. 0-6 going into bye week. 34-7 is your final. Inside the locker room, some players have a few opinions about what needs to be done. We're going to stay together. I mean, it's easy to do the right things and say the right things when everything's going your way. And when things are not going your way, it takes men to battle through it, and that's what we're going to do. I've been playing football since the fifth grade, and I don't, I don't think I've ever played a game as poorly as I played today or made or have been more disappointed in myself 
as I am today. This is embarrassing. You're a professional team, NFL team. You go out there and play like that. It's unacceptable. I mean, Mr. Brown, the family, all the coaches, everybody should, players, everyone look in the mirror and just say, you know what, God, there's something going on. There's something definitely wrong. You don't become 0-6, it's not by accident. You just don't go and show up out there. I know we're not that bad of a team, regardless of what people say about us across East Coast to West Coast, we're not that bad of a team. You know, and I can't go out there, I can't continue to go out and say that. Say we owe six right now. I don't have anything to back that up. Do we need some change? Yeah, we owe six, you know what I mean? So a win would be you know, a good thing to change up. But um, you know, I you know, I don't I don't I don't think LeBeau is the problem. Um, you know, he didn't go out there and get him twenty four points before the game really got started good. Um, you know, we, we got to find a way as players to get it done. We made them pay when they made mistakes, and, and that's what uh, a good defense is supposed to do. If, 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 if you're going to throw in double coverage, then we're going to make you pay for it, and uh, that's what we did. That's all we did. Uh, you know, uh, be honest with you, I think Kittner made some ill-advised throws, but at the same time, we came up with the ball. Our 12 sports game ball goes to Kevin Case for Hines, four tackles, because he only gave up four catches to Hines Ward, totaling 24 yards. Case also picked off Tommy Maddox.